13 year old Irfan on the right of the picture over there. He lives in the Sita Ram Palya slum and I teach him English every Saturday via the NGO Reach and Teach. He f his dream is to join the army, but he falls sick very often. One of the major reasons is because of the water he drinks. Good morning, my name is Dhruva Ayer and with my Future Leaders project, Malay Niro, I plan to address the issue of drinking water in slums by harvesting rainwater on the roofs of people's homes and filtering it to provide them with clean and portable water. The city of Bangalore faces the paradox where each ravaging monsoon, the rains flood our streets day after day, yet the scorching summer leaves thousands of households waiting for a single drop of water. It is approximated that every acre of land in Bangalore gets 3.6 million liters of water per year. And even if a third of this was harvested, all of Bangalore's problems would be solved. Then why, ladies and gentlemen, do we still have this water crisis? That's why I chose rainwater harvesting. On talking to the residents, on, on talking to the residents of the slum, I realized their water problems, including the quality and the regularity on which they get their water. And then after hours and hours of research, I found a DIY filter that can clean rainwater, that is, uh, that can clean wa rainwater and make it ac accessible to the residents. And for validation, I spoke to water activists in my community and of course the mentors from 1M1B who helped me pivot my project from a water transport system for farmers into this project. These are the components of the system. First, the rainwater is collected in the roof and uh, pipes which transports the water into a filter which mainly consists of activated carbon which is an efficient filter to uh, make the water portable. Then there's a the dirty water the from the contamination on your roof will go into a separate drum called the first flush system. Then after that, the clean water goes into the main drum where the main water collection takes place, which is very accessible to the residents. In the future, I would like to expand my project to even more slums in Bangalore and not only the one in Sita Rampalya. And with your support, I can also reach out to the slums in the entirety of India. With a small donation of 1,500 rupees, you can help su support uh, building one system for one house. And with your support, we can bring an end to the unforgiving water crisis in Bangalore and help many more children and people like Irfan realize their dreams. Thank you.